Back again with another free cleaning. Now this one was definitely one of the more difficult ones because of all of the rodents, tinkles, and droppings left behind. It seemed like every time I lifted or moved something, not only had droppings underneath, but there was nests made in basically every corner and crevice possible. That being said, cases like these make me even more determined to get the job done. And large jobs like this sometimes take multiple days, so I will be returning to this home this coming weekend to finish up. Something I really wanted to talk about was the fact that I get hundreds of messages and comments from people who want to do the same thing and offer free cleanings in their area and now while i think this is an amazing idea and it's so heartwarming i will say to really think about it and be properly prepared for what you're going to walk into these jobs aren't just about having the right cleaning supplies but they can actually be extremely toxic without the right personal protective equipment it can also be extremely mentally challenging and i don't just mean that for the client i also mean that for the cleaner my previous background in psychology does help immensely because i am able to help with the mental health aspect as well but even then after hard, hard cleans, I will see bugs in my own home that aren't actually there, and sometimes I'll even have bad dreams. So please, if you want to do something like this, be prepared as it's not as easy as it looks. But at the end of the day, being able to help people free of charge who are struggling physically or mentally is just so rewarding and makes everything completely worth it. Please know if you are struggling, your self-worth is never dependent on the cleanliness of your home. It's always okay to reach out for help and it doesn't make you any less of a person.